race day! Welcome to vlog number two of Le Mans. Oops, that was my sunglasses. Um, yeah, we have Saturday and it's so cool. It's finally the day. I mean, we're here since more than one week and finally we can say it's race day for 24 hour race. <laughs> Actually, the last night was good, but I still couldn't sleep that good because there was music and stuff, but well, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go to 3 one perform now to do some cryo, some sauna, to do the last recovery session. Because I'm in the car at 7.30, I think, tonight, so I'm waiting a long time today. And then, yeah, happy me, I'm smiling, so yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see the because it's gonna be so emotional. I'm actually starting this vlog with some sauna, some spa treatments, which also includes some pain. So, Xavier here, 3 to 1 perform, by the way. He's our freezer this weekend and he's taking care of us, bringing us a lot of food and a lot of pills <laughs> and warming us up and taking care of our recovery. So, that's what I'm doing now. Have some sauna time. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. It's pain, it's real pain. Well, <laughs> it's really cold. It's freezing. Huh? So. Does does almost look like you got a sunburn? Yes, because you have all the blood in my legs now. <laughs> it's crazy, 14 degrees. So that was step one of preparing. Yes. What's the next step? Now I get a massage, a little massage. Oh, very and good. Then, yeah, but you don't follow. So see you. Yeah. 
recording the 17th. And um, yeah, I'm having chicken and rice. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna warm up, get changed, and then jump in the car. Pinto arrives, look left, boom, there he is. He's lost it already, hasn't he? Completely. Yes, I think so. I don't think there was I don't think there was contact before the major contact. I think he'd lost control. Not so I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Watch the watch the windscreen of the one car. Blue light, medical light has come on. Light has come on in the second that second impact. And that I'm afraid she has got my understanding of the regulation is a big hit. Oh, yes. And that that stuck in reverse, um, I didn't get neutral in them anymore. I was stuck on the, on the, on the, on the straight um, for Porsche curves and actually it was slow zone, it was a full course, yeah, I think it was 80 km per hour, but then apparently a car came and the LMP2, I don't know how he didn't see me, he was doing 80 km per hour, but he hit me from the side again, so a uh, second crash. And this actually crashed the whole car, so the gearbox broke and um, yeah, from that moment onwards, I had no clutch anymore, I didn't get anything in, so I, I had to jump out, and then also, because I had two big hits, um, you have like um, a G-force measure thing in the car, so if you have some, if you have a crash and it reaches over some G, um, there's like a medical light going on, so it's like a blue light, which indicates that you have to go to the medical center and that the marshals are not allowed to let you continue to drive, because you could have something. So this light went on, so the marshals got me out, and um, 
Yeah, so we went to medical center. Um, I was there for 30 minutes, everything was good. I just have some pain in my neck, but it's more the muscles from the hits than, than anything else. It's all good. Um, and yeah, we had to retire, I think, five hours into the race. And to be honest, I'm, I'm really frustrated because the moment the crash happened, we were running P11, coming from P21. So we gained 10 positions in the first five hours. Um, last year we finished P9 and we were lucky. This year we were already P11 after five hours, so I don't even want to think about what we could have achieved. Um, and there was a lot of happening still so last night. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just frustrated. Um, I feel really sorry for the team, you know, all the mechanics, the engineers, the whole team. They work so hard, they want everything for them. Um, been here for 10 days and, and yeah, I don't know, you know, they work so hard, they sleep so less, and then you get you have a crash out of your control and it just finishes the race so early. <laughs> it's annoying, it's really annoying because it's the big one and um, yeah, we couldn't do anything, we could do nothing. Um, yeah, sorry for the team, sorry for Pat, Tatiana Baitska. Um I mean, in the end it was now a fault, but still, you know, you. it's annoying, it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, that's kind of thing. I still didn't see the car, it's still in scrutineering or somewhere around. Um, the race is one hour and ten minutes is left. Um, I couldn't sleep last night, I was just annoyed. I wanted to drive, I still want to drive. Kind of unreal to be honest, but um, yeah, we expected the more to be different this year. We wanted it to be different, but that's racing sometimes. We will bounce back stronger. Um, Bahrain, two more rounds to go. With. Um, yeah, that's uh, I didn't expect the vlog to be <laughs> ending like this way or actually to actually have a part like this in the vlog, but um, yeah, that's life. Um, but uh, Swallow it, it's a hard one, but we'll do. And, um, and we'll, we'll see you guys at Rapper in PTM next week again, um, or like next time. And um, yeah. peace out, my friends.